ladies and gentlemen, live from Granada, Manchester, it's the Stars in Their Eyes 1995 Live Final. Now, please welcome your host, Matthew Kelly. To the stars in their eyes 1995 grand final you can forget Wimbledon this is the final everybody's been waiting for coming to you live and as it happens there's nothing like a bit of live telly to keep you on your toes and this show is going to keep me on my toes and you on the edge of your seat you know it's really weird right now I'm feeling really cool calm collected and perfectly in control which is just as well because we've only been going about 58 seconds. <laughs> I mean, anything could happen. This is the night of nights, the show of shows, and the TV spectacle of TV spectacles. And on top of that, tonight, I'm probably going to win the lottery. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I think so. I have arranged tonight for the result to be given to me as soon as it's announced. So don't bother turning over. I'll be giving you the lottery numbers live on the show as they happen. And just think, 30 minutes from now, someone watching this show could be £20 million richer. £20 million. That's a pound for every viewer. £20 million quid. I'm lucky if I earn that in a week. But <laughs> for the outcome of the lottery, we'll all be richer, I feel, for the experience of tonight's final. And during the next hour... Our nine heat winners, and there they all are, all lit up on the board there, will come back through our famous doors to astound us once again. And by 10 o'clock tonight, one of them will be the Stars in the Rise series winner. And if you ask me, that's a far better win than winning the lottery. So who will it be? Who can say? All I can say is I won't be the judge. You will. Once again, you at home can take part in our massive nationwide phone-in and cast your vote. And in order to register as many votes as possible, we're extending the voting time. This year, you'll have a whole hour and a quarter to ring in and make your choice. That's a whole 75 minutes or 4,500 seconds, if you prefer. We'll give you the numbers later in the show, but please don't call until all nine finalists have sung. Your vote won't count until then. Last year, we recorded the biggest attempted TV phone-in vote ever, and we're certain of a response of even greater enormity this year. And to keep us abreast of events, we have, as before, sent our very own new mother of the year, Samantha Norman, to be on the spot at the BT Network Management Centre in Oswestry. Hello, Sam, are you there? Matthew, I'm here. It's so good to be back. It's wonderful. Welcome back, Sam. And congratulations on the new baby. I hope that wasn't a result of the excitement of last year's well, final. Well, I don't know. It was touch and go. But he's called Harry, and he's outside, in fact, and he's seven weeks old, and he's gorgeous. He is a lovely baby. And uh, you said... Last year, without a hint of exaggeration, I thought that... Not uh, prone to that. Oswestry was the uh, centre of the universe. And, you know, they mocked me, but it is, in fact, the centre of the telecommunications universe. And tonight, those who mocked will be chastened because, as we open the vote, there's going to be a huge surge of calls all the way towards Oswestry. In fact, we're going to be processing something like 18,000 calls per minute. Reaching the nether regions of the galaxy. Thanks a lot, Sam. We'll be talking to you again later. I'm sh Do you know, I'm sure that was Bob Hoskins lurking in the background. It's good to talk. But, no, it's even better to sing, so let's meet our first finalist. Finalist number one was the winner of Show One, although it seems such a long time ago, I'm sure you remember her. She was just 18 years old, originally from Ireland, now living in London. Mariah Carey was who she became, but here's how we first saw her, Bianca Kinan. <laughs> Bianca's clearly into marketing in a big way and it gives her a chance to use that powerful voice of hers. Singing comes just as naturally to her as selling her wares. And she has a good support team in the shape of her mum who originally applied on her behalf and who's always there to provide backup and bacon butties. And there she is just before going through those famous doors. Well, she's the first one to walk back through those famous doors tonight, so give her an especially big welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's singing live, once again, Bianca Kinan is Mariah Carey! <laughs> Thank you. 
You are such a brave girl. <laughs> My dad says to me, don't ask him how they feel, how do you think they feel? <laughs> so uh, this is for me, Dad. How do you feel? Actually, I feel all right. I was a bit iffy earlier, but I feel fine yeah. now. Yeah. And your mother's such a support. She is. And, uh, <laughs> parental support is so important. All our parents are out there. Thank you very much, Mother. Fetch us a bacon butty afterwards, all right, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. And if you want to vote for Mariah Carey at the end of the show, the number to ring is 0891 0001. But remember, votes won't count till you've heard all nine finalists sing. And I open the phone lines. Ladies and gentlemen, Bianca Canan as Mariah Carey. <laughs> A great opening number. One down and eight to go. And finalist number two was winner of show two. He's a horse-loving young lad from Cornwall and another 18-year-old. He became Mark Owen from Take That, but started out as Stan Sloan. When Stan's not working as a supermarket cashier, he's donning riding hat and jodhpurs to pursue his hobby of horse riding. And he's certainly riding high after his success on the series back in May. Now he's got the bit firmly between his teeth and the winning post in sight. And that's Stan waving goodbye before getting the transformation treatment. He's a young man with a very bright future, as he'll prove right now. Tonight, singing live once again, Stan Sloan is Mark Owen! <laughs> All I have is 
Well done, you're in you. fine voice. <laughs> now, catch your mind back to the heat when you won. Your reaction at the end of the show was fantastic. <laughs> you did what everybody just went like that, and then you <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a reaction to that? Did everybody go, ooh, you big soft thing? Yeah. No, they <laughs> didn't. It was the most genuine moment. And is it true you get as much fan mail as the real Marco in? Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Well, you'll be pleased to know, take that, a thrill that you won your heat and you've not let them down tonight. If you want to vote for Mark Owen at the end of the programme, the number to ring is 0891 88 0002. Find this number two, add 02 and so on. Easy. And don't forget, tonight you'll have a whole hour and a quarter in which to phone and register your vote. Ladies and gentlemen, Stan Sloan as Mark Owen. Well, two down and we're on a roll. So, from standing Cornwall, back up the motorway to Manchester. Finalist number three and show three's winner is a local lad, I'm sure you'll remember. He's another young person, our third in a row. Youth culture, wicked. He was Mark Dawes, the art student, who caused a sensation as Michael Stipe from REM. Mark is one of the country's academic elite. He is often to be found burning the midnight oil in an attempt to improve his brain power and expand his intellect. Or so he says. And here it looks like he's studying the arts of sloshing and grunging. We might all be doing that later. And there we see Mark about to undergo his amazing transformation. Despite the awesome task before him and a few nerves, he's nearly as laid back as ever. And tonight, singing live, once again, Mark Dawes is Michael Stipe!
was just a dream That was just a dream That's me in the corner That's me in the spot Like losing my religion Mark. Thank you. God, that was so authentic. Thanks. Would you, would you say you're a perfectionist? Slightly. <laughs> yeah. You really studied that, haven't you? Yeah. Do you know, I've, I was really thrilled when you won your heat, you know, because I think it marked a new direction that this show was going to go in. Yeah. You, I hope it you has sh done. You're shaking a little bit, aren't you? A <laughs> 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 real buzz. Oh, you're right. It was a bit difficult for you with, uh, with the orchestra at first, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, at first, yeah. I had to get used to it. Oh, but I have done now. So. You've done brilliantly. Yeah. And we like that dance, don't we? <laughs> we love that dance. <laughs> right, for Michael Stipe, the number to call at the end of the show is 0891 But don't forget, there's six more finalists to see and votes won't count till then. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Dawes as Michael Stipe. <laughs> well done, Mark. <laughs> well... Sam, are there any reactions to what you've seen already in Oswestry? Well, Matthew, we've been discussing this and we think that the standard of contestants gets better and better each year. I mean, they all look and sound far better than the people they're trying to be. And Mariah Carey <laughs> kind of gets the vote so far from the boys down here. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, is there any money changing hands, I wonder? Oh, there's lots. I mean, talk about the National Lottery, there's much more floating around down here. Don't tell me people are phoning in yet, are they? Well, despite your good advice, they still are, which is a bit odd because they've only seen three contestants <laughs> and it's also a terrible waste of time and money. I mean, it costs right. nearly 10p. So the advice is don't keep pressing that redial button. Use the, use the buttons properly and use your index finger more imaginatively and then maybe we won't get such block lines and maybe you can hang on until you're actually supposed to vote. That's I think what we want. Favorite. Imaginative digits. I've always yeah. liked that. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you. So don't forget, if you want to keep giving us your money for nothing, keep phoning in, right? <laughs> well, you've seen our first three finalists. They've got the show off to a flying start. And remember, there are still six more to come, and then it will be time to vote. We've just got time for a quick break, so whatever it is you have to do, I will go and do it and be back here in a couple of minutes. See you then. <laughs> the stars in their eyes, the live final. It's proving to be quite a night. The tension's mounting. The first three finalists you've seen are lit up on the board and six more to come and the lottery result. And don't forget, when we open the lines at the end of the show after they've all sung, we're asking you to vote on who sounds the most like. Remember, the makeup and the costume are just for fun. And next up, finalist number four and winner of show four was certainly a great Bono sound alike. He's Yorkshireman Andrew Bagnall from Barnsley, who made a big splash in more ways than one when we first met him. Andrew is very definitely a family man, as well as a big fan of U2. In fact, it was the words of a U2 song that made him decide he wanted to start a family. It was inevitable that Zach should turn out to be a bit of a water baby, as Andrew and his wife Lisa have both been lifeguards. 
And there's Andrew on his way for wardrobe and makeup to do their stuff. Well, England struggled to put on the runs at Edgbaston, <laughs> didn't they just? But opening the batting for Yorkshire tonight, singing live once again, Andrew Bagnall is Bono! <laughs> Well done, Andrew. Cheers, well, you two have influenced you, haven't they? <sighs> Not only your beautiful baby, but a magnificent performance. Thank you, sir. Fantastic. Understand. Have you have you joined a group yet? Um, yeah, I've, um, I'm out starting with a group called Act On Baby. Act On Baby. Yeah. When's your first gig? Next Saturday. Whereabouts? Falmouth. You'll be huge in Falmouth. Huge. <laughs> oh, it'll be brilliant. I think this will be the start of a great career for you. I really do. And the number to call to vote for Bono is 0891880004. Act four, add four, as if you needed telling. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Bagnall as Bono. <laughs> now moving on alphabetically from B for Barnsley to C for Coventry. And finalist number five. She was a sweet young slip of a thing with a man mountain of a boyfriend. She appeared just five weeks ago as Lisa Stansfield. Her name is Claire Horgan. We first met Claire when she was looking to buy a house, although her boyfriend Mark was already built like one. He proposed to her at a karaoke evening, and now they're planning to get married. Winning the Stars in Their Eyes final tonight would no doubt make the perfect wedding present. And there she is, waving us goodbye at the doors. 
She's waiting backstage and with a voice that belies her size. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, singing live once again, Claire Horgan is Lisa Stansfield. <laughs> Well done. Look, there's nothing of you. You're breaking half, wouldn't you, really? <laughs> now, I know that you knew that the real Lisa Stansfield was watching you tonight. Did that put you under a lot of pressure? A little bit, yes. A little, a little bit? <laughs> I should say so. Uh, no. Apparently, she was watching your heat in an airport. And when you announced you were going to sing as Lisa Stansfield, she said, ooh, everybody turned around and looked at me. What, <laughs> what would you like to say to her? Um, I'd like to say I think she's absolutely fantastic and I really, yeah. really admire her work. And would she mind voting for herself for that? <laughs> and if you want to vote for Lisa Stansfield, the number to remember is 0891 88 0005. Ladies and gentlemen, Claire Horgan as Lisa Stansfield. <laughs> Well, we're just over halfway through, and on top of all that excitement, there's still that lottery result to come. Lottery result, and you're messed up. Stay tuned, and we'll bring you that live. And if I win, who's going to present the rest of the show? Because <laughs> I'm off, mate. Bound for that millionaire lifestyle, struggling to spend it all. Either that or it'll be the party to end all parties after the show. Those numbers will be in just a minute. Meanwhile, our own lottery continues with the hunt for the 95 series winner. Finalist number six and winner of show six is the next contender. And we take the road to Camden, where the streets are paved with the best kept paving stones in London. And they're kept that way by Obi and Yanwu, who made a clean sweep as James Ingram. 
Obi charmed us all when he won the show four weeks ago. He works as a cleaning operative because, he says, it's better than just walking the streets. His head is telling him to be a lawyer, but his heart wants him to sing. In the meantime, he has a ready-made fan club in the shape of his six older sisters. And there's Obi flashing that winning smile before going through those famous doors. I tell you, he's kept this studio spotless today. Sit back and enjoy once again tonight, singing live, Obi and Yanwu as James Ingram. <laughs> Well done, Obi. You are fantastic. Thank you, Are your sisters in the audience? Yes, they I are. thought perhaps they might be. I could hear them screaming there. Great. Are you still sweeping the streets? Unfortunately. Unfortunately, you, we've got to get you off the streets and having a singing career, don't you think? Yeah. I think so, yes. Do, pe do people recognise you after your heat? They've only been recognising me for all this time. Really? Yeah. What do you do? Just take your gloves off and put your... Uh, I've been your shaking so many hands, shaking so many hands for oh. about four weeks running now. Wait till after this, mate. Wait till after this. You're a famous boy. And if you want to vote for James Ingram in about half an hour's time at the end of the show, his number is 0891 Ladies and gentlemen, Obi and Yanwu as James Ingram. <laughs> well done, Obi. Right, well, I've just heard 
that the lottery jackpot stands tonight at 18.7 million. Is this a figure that uh, excites you, Sam, in Oswald Street? Well, it does rather. I would like to win it, Matthew. Oh, do you yes. Do you do, the, do you do the lottery? No. Do you? <laughs> no, I don't, actually. Ah. I lied just to get a few cheap gags, actually. A very cheap gag. <laughs> Listen, Matthew, down here they keep asking me who I'm going to be. Who are you going to be, Sam? I don't know. I can't even sing. <laughs> Anyway, the tension is really mounting down here. And apparently we've had double the amount of calls this year than we did last year, so we could be on for a record. Of course, some people are still trying to phone in early, which isn't a very good idea. And BT have asked me to ask you not to phone all at once, which is difficult advice because, of course, you don't know when everyone else is phoning. But the thing is, try and spread the calls if you can. And remember, you've got 75 minutes, so don't panic. OK, all right. Sam. Thank you very much indeed. Well. That's the end of part two. Just three finalists remaining. We'll see them shortly. Then it'll be time for you at home to vote for the stars in their eyes. 95 series winner. So don't go far. Welcome back to the live final of Stars in Their Eyes. Before the three remaining finalists sing, however, we have the lottery results. Now get your cards and your pens at the ready. The numbers are 3, 14, 11, 20, 1, 40, and the bonus ball is 45. I'll just repeat those for you. I hope you've got your cards in the audience here. It's uh, 3, 14, 11, 20, one, 40, and the bonus ball is 45. Any millionaires in the audience? To yeah. Oh, yes, yes, pull the other one. Yeah. Any, any £10 winners? Yeah. Is everybody back to your place, then, is it, I suppose? <laughs> oh, I don't go in for it, because, no, you see, there's no justice. I'd probably win. You see, and if you've won at home, all I can say to you is good luck. All that dosh and a star's final in one night. Too much. Right, back to business. And a reminder of the state of the poll. Here are the numbers to phone at the end of the show. 0891880, then add the number of the finalist you want to vote for. 01, 02, 03, 04, and so on. As you can see, those six lit up have already sung. Now, the next finalist is finalist number seven. Mavis Clark won show seven three weeks ago. Let's take a peek at her in Plumstead, London. <laughs> Mavis must have been put on this earth to bring joy and happiness into everyone's life. And she did just that when she appeared on the show. In her own words, when you stop smiling, the world stops spinning. And that baby is about the most beautiful baby the world's ever seen. And there she is just before vanishing briefly from view. She's one of the most smiley, happy people I've ever met, singing live tonight. Once again, Mavis Clark is Randy Crawford! <laughs>
Well done. Okay. Your cheeks are so kissable. I'm sorry about that. I had to do that. Oh, one of my favourite singers. You've really done it justice as well. And you were on cloud nine after the heat. You must be in La La Land now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you were really nervous when you first came into the studio a few days ago, weren't you? Yes, I was. Are you feeling all right now? Albatross are flying and flying round and From round. butterflies to bats to albatrosses. <laughs> Everything that's flying is in my stomach. <laughs> you would never have seen it. You've been an inspiration to people on this show. You're what this show is all about. Fabulous. And if you want to vote for Randy Crawford, the number to ring is 0891880007. Ladies and gentlemen, Mavis Clark as Randy Crawford. <laughs> OK, only two finalists left, but everything to play for. Just two weeks ago, we met finalist number eight and winner of show eight. It was, of course, Leicestershire's Paul Reason, who sang as New Yorker, Billy Joel. Paul earns a crust by crafting brass ornaments, a job that demands a great deal of skill to achieve the required shape. But Paul's more concerned with shaping a future in singing. And there's no doubt he's got the raw materials. With a bit of buffing and polishing, he'll be certain to shine. And there's Paul about to disappear into the mists of the magical doors. Well, that's just the way he is, and singing just the way you are. Please welcome him back tonight, once again, singing live. Paul Reason is Billy Joel! <laughs>
Well done. Well done. Oh, fabulous, fabulous. And the best thing is, I'm going to tell him, I'm going to tell you. Because actually Paul said to me, he said, I know I'm going to fall over that top step. I'm going to trip down the stairs and that'll be it. I'm going to fall flat on my face and that'll be it. And you didn't do it. No. Are you all right? All right. Not this time. You see, you're a Leicestershire boy. Yes. Have you been to the Bronx to study Billy Joel? Uh, not recently, no. And you did brilliant. Maybe next year, on a holiday. Very accurately as well. Has your career started as a singer yet? Uh, yes, I've uh, got a summer season with the band. Yes, so, you see, so I told you you working. would. Good man. Okay. Well done. If you want to vote for Billy Joel, the number to ring is 0891 880008. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Reason as Billy Joel. Well done. And so we come to our last finalist, which means that we're just moments away from the great phone-in when you decide who's going to be the series winner. But first, finalist number nine, who was the winner of last week's show. So it's like he's never been away, really. He's from Shoreham on Sea. Lee Griffiths was Bobby Darren, and here he is at work. Lee doesn't exactly sell seashells by the seashore in Shoreham by Sea, but he does sing songs while he's shifting sand and shingle. He practices in a shed on site, and fortunately has a sympathetic boss, which is just as well since it also happens to be his father-in-law. There's Lee about to walk through those doors and make his dream come true. His dream was to sing in front of a big audience with a big band, which means we're all part of that dream coming true, as tonight, singing live once again, Lee Griffiths is Bobby Darren! <laughs> The shark bait has such teeth there, and it shows them pearly white. Just a jackknife has old Mac Heath bait, and it keeps it uh, out of sight. You know, when that shark bites with its teeth bait. Scarlet billows start to spread Fancy gloves though, where's old Mac Heath be? So there's never, never a trace of red Now on the sidewalk, huh, huh, ooh, sunny morning, uh -huh. Lies a body, just doing life Ickin' someone Sneaking round the corner Could that someone be Mac the Knife? Now there's a tugboat ta -ha 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 down by the river, don't you know? Well, I see men back just a drooping on down Oh, that cement is just, it's there for the weight, yeah Five will get you ten holes Mac is back in town. Now if you're here by Louis Miller, he disappeared, babe. After drawing out all his hard earned cash. And now Mac, he spends just like a sailor. Could it be a boy's done something rash? You know, Lucy Brown Yes, that line falls On the right way And out that Mackie Back in town Look at old Mackie's back
Well done, Lee. You are such a cool performer. It's so cool. Are you really that cool? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right, gotcha. I was really pleased about your win as well. I mean, it sort of stemmed the flow into the youth culture. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yes, and brought, brought Bobby Darren to a, to a whole new audience, I think. Now, last week, you know, you sang, it was the first part of your dream yeah. in front of a big audience. This time in front of a big band, how do you feel? That is one big dream fulfilled. I know. One big dream. An excellent orchestra under the direction of Ray Monk here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Fabulous. So, if you'd like to vote for Bobby Darren, the number to ring is 0891 880009. Ladies and gentlemen, Lee Griffiths as Bobby Darren. Right on, Lee. Well, that's it. That's the nine. The moment is almost upon us. Time to regroup and recap. So don't dash for the phones just yet. Sam, have you any final instructions for us from Oswestry? Well, just a reminder, as you say, don't dash the phones just yet. Wait till Matthew opens the vote. And when he does, you will see this map over here lighting up with all those little lines like a Christmas tree. It's going to be quite spectacular. Or should be, anyway. Fabulous. Thanks very much, Sam. Can't wait for that. We're going to take a quick break, then remind you of all those numbers and open the lines. We'll see you very soon. <laughs> Welcome back to the Stars in the Rise live final and the moment we've all been waiting for, the vote from 10,000 applicants through hundreds of auditions to 45 star guests on the series, now nine finalists, but just one series winner. And before that all-important vote, I'd just like to say what an achievement it's been for every one of our nine star finalists. All of them have been absolutely brilliant, and from my point of view, it's been a pleasure to be a part of it all. And whatever the outcome of tonight's result, as far as I'm concerned, they're all winners. When I open the vote, you'll have an hour and a quarter to call in. We'll give you a rundown of the numbers in a moment, but first, Sam. Well, we just want to say best of luck, don't we, gentlemen? Yes, best of luck. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sam. Good luck in Oswestry. Right, pens and paper at the ready. Before I open the lines, let's have a reminder of our finalists and give you the numbers to call. Andrew. Thanks, Matthew, for finalist number one. Ring 0891 880001. Mariah Carey is market stall assistant, 18-year-old Bianca Kinan, originally from Tipperary, now living in London. Finalist number two is Stan Sloan. He's also 18 and is the supermarket cashier from Launceston, Cornwall, who became Mark Owen. And to vote for him, the number is 0891 880002. He was followed by Manchester graphic design student Mark Dawes as Michael Stipe from REM. His number is 0891 880003. Part two opened with unemployed lifeguard Andrew Bagnall from Barnsley, South Yorkshire, tonight singing as Bono. And to vote for him, ring 0891 880004. If you want to vote for Lisa Stansfield, otherwise known as Coventry's Claire Horgan, ring 0891-880005. Obi and Yanwu, the street cleaner originally from Nigeria, now living in London, sang tonight as James Ingram. And if you want to vote for him, the number is 0891-880006. Following him, and also from London, admin assistant and mother of two, Mavis Clark, singing as Randy Crawford. And her number is 0891-880007. Brass worker Paul Reason from Hinkley, Leicestershire, is our eighth finalist tonight. So if you want to vote for Billy Joel, the number to dial is 0891-880008. And last up was finalist number nine, gravel plant operator Lee Griffiths from Shoreham-on-Sea, West Sussex, who sang as Bobby Darren. And if you want to give him your vote, the number to ring is 0891 880009. And remember, calls will cost no more than 10 pence. And with that, it's back to you, Matthew. Thank you very much, Andrew. Now, we've seen them all individually. I'll just give you a quick rundown of the list. And if you want to vote for Mariah Carey, Vote, you ring 0891 Mark Owen, 0891 Michael Stipe, 0891 
For Bono, ring 0891 880004. Lisa Stansfield number is 0891 880005. For James Ingram, ring 0891 006. For Randy Crawford, 0891 880007. And for Billy Joel, it's 0891 880008. And for Bobby Darren, please ring 0891 880009. Remember, you're voting for who sounds the most like makeup and costume are just for fun. The calls will cost you less than 10 pence, right? Are we ready? The vote starts now. And we'll be back in about an hour and a quarter. And I'll have a very special guest who will sing for us. We'll have the result before all that. We'll have an audience with Ken Dodd. I'm going for a quick rub down with a damp sponge. If you few bubbles and a few words of support for our mates over here. Uh, Sam, has, uh, has everything exploded in Oswald Street yet, I wonder? Oh, exploded. The response has been incredible. Calls are already flooding in. It's amazing. It really is. Fabulous. Can't wait. Uh, how are you all feeling, everybody? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. You're such liars, honestly. No. I can't <laughs> wait. Do enjoy phoning in. It'll be fun. We'll see you at 10 o'clock. Cheers. 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 Welcome back to the live grand final of Stars in the Rise. That's been the longest 75 minutes of everyone's life. It's been like a driving test, a trip to the dentist and getting your school reports all rolled into one. It's been an unbelievable hour and a quarter. Has it been any easier in Oswestry, Sam? Matthew, it's been a bit like my labour, I think. Well, we've had so many calls, but so little time to tell you about it. In fact, we've had literally hundreds of thousands of calls. It's oh, been really? wonderful. That's phenomenal. And I think that's a tribute to the quality of our finalists. The waiting backstage has been nail-bitingly tense, but it's not over yet, is it, Sam? No, not over yet. There's still time to call in. Fabulous, thanks. We'll be talking to you a bit later. Well, it's a nerve-wracking time for all, but someone who knows just what it feels like during those anxious minutes before the result is announced and the joy of winning is last year's winner, John Finch, who was, of course, a brilliant Marty Pello. Caught up in your wishing well, your hopes inside it. Take your love and promises and make them last. Won by an incredible margin and was, I know you agree, a very worthy winner. Please welcome back John Finch as Marty Pello. <laughs> Fantastic. Such a popular win. What's the, uh, what's the atmosphere like backstage now? The atmosphere is very relaxed, actually. Yeah. It's really? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. How does it compare to what it was like then? Well, last year was very tense. <laughs> very tense. Was it? Yeah. How have things been back in the electronics factory? I never went back. <laughs> <laughs> you never went back into work? Never went well, back. Are they still expecting you? Well, I went visiting my old friends again, and I yeah. came back, came out of the place depressed, so... <laughs> oh, but were they, were they pleased for you? Oh, yeah. Have you yeah. had a good year since? I've had a very busy 12 months, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I got to meet the best band in the world. Wait, wait, wait. You met your hero? I certainly Marty did. Marty Pella. Yeah, great guy. Splendid. Of course you did. I mean, I mean what's happening in the, for in the future for you? Well, I've got a single coming out soon. Um, yeah. The band's called Blue Orange, and uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. And they rang you up before the show? Yes, they did. I'll be uh, going to the GMX in Manchester on Tuesday, so I'm really mm. thrilled about that. Give them our love. Are you going to give I us a tune will. now? I certainly will, yeah. Fabulous. Well, you get yourself to the centre, sort yourself out, and I'll give you the big build up, right? Ladies and gentlemen, with the biggest selling single of the 90s, Love Is All Around. Tonight, singing live once again, John Finch is Marty Pello. <laughs>
It's written on the wind It's everywhere I go Oh, yes it is So if you really love me Come on and let it show The vote for the Stars in Their Eyes winner, 1995, is now closed. Let's not prolong the agony. There they are. It's been the longest 75 minutes of their lives and mine. Well, well done to all of them, and thanks to all of you for voting. Oh, I find this, this is really emotional, this bit. It's got to be done. OK. Here are the results of the 1995 series of Stars in Their Eyes. For finalist number one, Mariah Carey. She scored 42,374. <laughs> Next came Mark Owen at number two, and he scored a total of 75,231. <laughs> Let's see if Michael Stipe can do any better than that. He scored a total of 100,000. <laughs> And four! Finalist number four was Bono. Let's see, let's see what Bono got. He scored a grand total of 27,073. Lisa Stansfield came next at number five, and she scored 23,764. James Ingram was number six, and he scored a total of 61,994. I'll just... I just want to pause there and tell you, in the hour and a half we've been off the air, a record company has rung up and offered Obi a contract. Yeah! 
However, it didn't win. Michael Stipe is so far in the lead. Let's see if Randy Crawford can beat that. She scored a total of 54,958. Billy Joel came next and he scored 39,216. Now then, can Bobby Darren beat Michael Stipe? He has to beat over 100,000. He scored 177,750. And that means Bobby Darren is the winner of Star Oh, well done, well done. I mean, from, from oh. nowhere. God. I can't believe it. God, and we all thought Michael Stab was there. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, are, are you all right? Are you, I'm fine. Are you, <laughs> right, OK. And yet you were ninth in the show, ninth in the show. This has happened three years running. I can't believe it. Do you think this perhaps a, a lucky spot? Must be. It must be. I, I don't care of one, I don't care. I'm so pleased. It was a fabulous, fabulous performance. It was a oh. real star performance, wouldn't you say? Yeah. yeah. And so, the series has come to an end, and at last you can all go out and do something else on a Saturday night. It only remains for me to say thank you to everybody involved in making the show, so thank you to everybody involved in making the show. Now, I really mean that, and of course, our thanks to Sam Norman and everyone down at Oswald Street. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. You know, behind the scenes here, there's a whole army of people who work all year round to make this show the success that it is, and my job that much easier. We'll be back in the new year with a brand new series. Now, the stage, the night, and the stars in their eyes, year, quite rightly, belong to Reed, Lee Griffiths as Bobby Darren. Good night. Thank you. Well done. <laughs>
really is it from Stars in the Rise and Granada. Have a fabulous summer. We will see you next year. This is the man, Bobby Dillon, with his family. See you soon. Well, celebrations start right now for Lee Griffiths and the Stars in Their Eyes team. If you'd like the chance to take part next year, please call us on this number 0800 666 888. That's 0800 666 888. Good night.